In a question that's been asked many times since 2010, does anybody remember Lenny Pidgeley? Yeah, I've only got a vague recollection of him too. If you're the kind of guy who's put thousands of hours into LMA 2005, you'll remember him as Chelsea's third choice keeper, who was great on loan at lower league clubs. But who would do a thing like that? His name has got to be his most interesting achievement. Not only does Lenny sound a bit like a bird for some reason, Pidgeley basically spells Pidgey from Pokemon, so he's well and truly fucked on the avian front. Now there's a sentence I never thought I'd say. Anyway, I recently took a week off work and decided to read Wikipedia cover to cover. Again. It's worth it for the Blue Peter controversy section alone. On my biannual read-through of Pidgeley's entry, I came across this horrific anecdote. He was given the number 40 shirt by Chelsea in reference to his time at Watford when they beat Watford 4-0 in an FA Cup match with Pidgeley in goal. Now I've never seen Game of Thrones, but judging by the amount of shit memes that get posted on my newsfeed about it, that sounds like the type of sadistic thing they'd do on that. You've got to feel sorry for him. It must have been pretty tough walking into kit allocation day at Chelsea Football Club and have Mourinho hand that number 40 shirt to you. He probably came over to him and whispered something like, Every time you look down at the number on your shorts, remember that day. The day I proved I was better than you, Lenny. You'll never amount to anything. You're nothing. You're worthless. You can't escape your past. And you know for sure that Lenny tried to play it off as a bit of a joke, had a laugh with Damien Duff, but you knew deep down inside he was crying. I don't know, there's just something about this that reminds me of an end level of a Call of Duty, where Jose Mourinho is trying to carve 4-0 into the forearm of Pidgeley with a Stanley knife, and you've got to rapidly press the left and right trigger buttons to bring the knife away, and then press X to stab it in his eye. As you might have guessed, it's not a real knife, it's just a harmonica. Mum wouldn't let me have a real knife on camera in case I hurt myself. Ah, fuck!